This is one of those products where it's hard to say if this qualifies for more of the tech channel or the cat channel. This is the Sphero from Orbotics. And basically what it is, is if you check out the green one that's out there in the, the track that they've set up, that's the one that I'm controlling with this iPod. Touch, and I'm just going to bring it around back to Hello us. Hello, everybody at the Sphero booth. We're about to start another Sphero so, race. So, um, this is John from Sphero, and I'd like him to explain just a little bit what uh, the heck stalls. is going on so with this thing. How does how do I set this up and get this working? So, Sphero is a smartphone control robotic ball. Works on Android and iOS. We're really um, and how you work it is you. And you shake it to wake it up, and then it's going to blink three colors. Off. You connect to it over Bluetooth, and, and then so you can drive it around. We have over 20 different apps and games uh, that awesome. you can use to either control Sphero, so or you can actually use Sphero as a controller and tilt it in your hand to drive around. Line, and we'll start um, in, about in addition, we have some new augmented reality games that have just come out, like Sharky the Beaver and uh, The Rolling Dead, which we just announced. Um, do you want to drive in the race? Uh, no, no, I'm okay. okay. Let's uh, let's sort of let's sort of focus on how you actually manage to race multiples of these things at a time. How the heck do you know which one you're connecting to? Um, so when you connect to it, you can actually bring up the uh, Bluetooth screen here, and uh, there we go. So you can see there's a bunch of different spheros, like blue, yellow, blue, green, red, red, purple, orange, red, white, purple, white. Uh, so when you wake up your Sphero, it's going to flash the three-color code, and you know which one to connect to. So if so you and your uh, brother both get a Sphero on Christmas flag, morning, please. you'll know which one you need to connect to. Now, I how need... durable is this thing? Is it appropriate as a cat right, toy? Else? I mean, can I throw it for my dog even? Oh, yes. My dog chews on it all the time. In fact, Somebody I can actually take it, uh, on stand on it on the floor, the and I'm putting all my weight on that one foot, and I'm not crushing it. And uh, you can actually uh, just throw it out there, and if you go back to the home screen there and relaunch the app, you'll be able to drive it around just fine up there. Wow, very cool stuff. Okay, so how much does one of these cost? Uh, retails for $129. It's available at the Apple Store, right, so Brookstone, and race, Target. Here. Now, do I have to control it with the joypad, or do I have other options? So if you press this button down here, you can actually switch it into tilt mode. So now, if you hold it flat, it's going to stay still. But as you tilt it, it's going to drive in whichever direction you tilt it. So unlike an RC car, there isn't an obvious front of the Sphero. So how does it know that when I tilt it this way, it needs to move away from me? Uh, so when you first start playing with it, you actually have to aim it. So you press this button right here. I think ours is behind the pillar. All right, so we got all our Sphero's on the line. A little line. blue light comes on if you're new to Sphero, when we point that blue to, light towards us, uh, and then Sphero knows where we're standing so in relation to it. You need to put this little it. blue light this way, because we are going clockwise. All right, thanks, guys. So, so this was the Sphero laps, from Orbotics. We'll the don't miss any of our CES 2013 the coverage, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. You have a... We actually didn't make it away from the Orbotics booth just yet. They have an augmented reality game with their little ball device here that doesn't look like a ball anymore at all. In fact, it looks, well, if you look down at the ground, it looks like a ball. But if you look at the screen that's taking a feed from the iPad being held by Fabrizio here, it is a beaver that is running around on the ground. So you guys are replacing, with the camera on the iPad, the ball with this beaver model. Yeah, that's correct, yep. Yeah, so we're, we're tracking the ball in every frame and using it to figure out where the ball is, where the camera is, and that allows us to draw any kind of 3D content we want. In this app, we just draw over the ball, but uh, we have other apps where we draw other objects in. Zombies come up out of the ground, coins to collect, all sorts of things. Now, you showed us here. Do you want to just turn yourself so that... Uh Oh yeah, I guess here, just yeah, bring the, yeah, sort of there you go, there you go. So now you can see what he looks like. He actually gets bigger as the ball gets closer. Can you take him a little bit further away from us so that we can see how he, yeah, there we go. So we can see how he gets smaller as he gets further away. So you have a game where you can chuck cupcakes to him and you can fling them quite a distance in order to try to feed Mr. Sharky over there. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right, so guys, very, very cool demo. It goes beyond just sort of, you know, racing it around on a track. I mean, this is more of a tech demo at this point, but you guys have plans to continue to develop this oh, in the future? yeah, definitely over the next year we're going to build this out. I mean, the gameplay opportunities are really huge. You know, you can multiplayer, replace it with, uh, you know, any kind of avatar you want, uh, drop static objects in your living room and go visit them later. It's sort of crazy. Lots of, lots of, lots of opportunity for innovation. So. Very cool stuff, guys. Don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage. Make sure you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips.